we got here? I have an old outfielder's glove signed by Babe Ruth, and I have a bat signed by Babe Ruth and Christy Matheson. He was a great pitcher. He had set all kinds of records. The Babe Ruth is famous for chocolate candy. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today in order to sell this glove and a baseball bat signed by Abe Ruth and Christy Matheson. There should be a, a tremendous value in there. Babe Ruth, he's probably the most famous baseball player of all time. The accomplishments that Babe Ruth made in his career, I mean, he outshines just about every baseball player since him. Christy Matheson, I don't know a lot about him. How could you not have? He was one of the greatest pitchers. Well, you were probably around baseball. to see him play, not me. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm... It doesn't get any bigger than Babe Ruth. I recently got a photo in here signed by him, and it's valued at over $2,000. So a bat and a glove signed by the Babe, we could be talking huge numbers. And this is the paperwork you have with him. Yeah. William Tell Research. Usually you don't see paperwork that's drawn out like this. Usually it's typed, it's a little more formal looking. I mean, the bat looks old enough. But then again, it is just a piece of wood. You can easily age this stuff. The glove is old enough. I mean, that looks 100% authentic. Whether that was Babe that signed it or not, I don't know. Everything that I have is authentic and it's real. So what do you want to do with this stuff? I'd like to sell it. I think this bat should be worth somewhere between 50 and 100 grand. The glove should be worth 10, $20,000. I mean, I love stuff like this. I just want someone who's in this business to look at this paperwork to see what they think. Who is your guy and what makes him special? Uh, because I trust him and I know him, and I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that makes sense to me. If he says the stuff is real, we'll talk money. Very good. Let me go give him a call. OK. This should be a no-brainer because I've had them authenticated, but I'm very hopeful that they're expert knows what he's talking about and is, in fact, an expert. What's going on, Jeremy? How you doing, buddy? Good, Corey. How's it going, man? The guys call me down to the shop whenever they have a unique piece of memorabilia that walks in that they have concerns or questions about. This is the guy you trust? That's him. I've got underwear older than he is, and I don't know what makes him an expert. Babe Ruth, Sultan of Swat, Bambino. I mean, this guy holds major league records that are still intact today. He hit over 40 home runs 11 times, hit 61 season, and all this while maintaining a 342 batting average. I mean, the guy is unstoppable. Now, with Christy Mathewson, he was equally a good pitcher as Babe Ruth was a batter during the time. He still ranks third amongst all pitchers today and wins. Items like this rarely come around in the world of sports memorabilia, especially a bat that has both Mathewson and Babe Ruth on it. If that thing turns out authentic, we're talking no less than $50,000, and sky's the limit from there. Signed gloves are extremely rare because the oils in the glove can, over time, kill the signature. Uh, right here in the webbing, this is what they call a uh, single tunnel loop, which puts it in the period of late 20s, early 30s. Let's take a look at the bat we have here now. It's a Louis Slugger. It's made by Hillerich and Bradsby. If this bat was made before 1916, this would read just J.F. Hillerich and Son. This bat would be from the period 1919 through 1929, which is the time that these guys could have both potentially signed this piece. And it does have the right kind of wear on it, What's really also neat about this bat, with Ruth and Matthewson on it, these are two of the first five guys ever inducted in the Hall of Fame. Excuse me, the price is going up. <laughs> All right, so what do you think of this paperwork? This company in particular, William Tell Research, I'm not familiar with their uh, reputation in the industry. It just looks pretty generic. Now, as far as the authentication for the bat here, I got to tell you, this one makes me very nervous. The gentleman listed on this authentication was implicated in this enormous FBI sting operation in the late 1990s. It was called Operation Bullpen, and it was all around getting fraudulent signatures on really? memorabilia. Absolutely. And therefore, auction houses won't recognize his authentication as legitimate. So what's the bottom line? With all the circumstantial evidence, my gut tells me that this is unlikely genuine. OK. The signatures are very dark. And in my opinion, they don't look aged consistent with the age of the bat. Also, Christy Mathewson and Babe Ruth, they hardly overlapped. Mathewson retired in 1916. And Ruth really wouldn't have been anybody who wanted to get to sign an autograph until probably 1919. I have serious doubts about its validity. Sounds to me like he pretty much came up with a really nice way to tell you that your bat's fake. And 
all the oils in this glove should have broke apart that signature by now. I need real hardcore evidence as Babe Ruth that's irrefutable. I don't know what to say. At this point, I'm just gonna pass. I'm sorry, I can't do nothing for you, man. I can understand that. Okay, have a nice I day. Remember. I think they're missing the boat on these items. This young guy, not even sure he heard of Babe Ruth.